The following is an encore presentation of New Expressions. Friday morning of New Expressions, and it's always happening. It's 10.04. It's it's going live, and we're just, you know, in our element at the moment. This is how we roll. This is, this we is roll. live radio it, yes. at its very best. Yes, yes, it, yes. I it say is that an adventure. Because we have got it going on <laughs> here at oh uh, Rima Central Coast. You're probably listening 94.9 if you're zooming around in the car, maybe sitting in the kitchen <laughs> making a coffee, I don't know. Um, those of you who are online, um, uh, rima.cc, grabbing the program. This is the New Expressions program, and it is where we have a whole pile of fun and <laughs> every yes, Friday morning. Yes, we have piles of fun. Live, live, <laughs> crazy do. live radio. Yes, where, yeah. where a there's a few piles here. You know, we just scramble and roll and, and things <laughs> happen and... You know, and crazy and rolling things happening, isn't that synonymous yeah, with our guest today? But I would, <laughs> yes, I wouldn't be anywhere else but here on a Friday. Awesome, awesome kingdom champions from the Central Coast, mm. uh, Pastor Dom and Pastor Josie Vasalis, who used to be the senior leaders of Hope Church U, um, Central Coast, you know, but something amazing's happened, you know, and I, I guess... That beckons the question, doesn't it? What do you mean used to be senior leaders of Hope Church Central Coast? What's the story there? Well, we're going to find out all about that. Um, and we're going to find out about it straight from the horse's mouth. We've got Pastor Dom in one room, Pastor Josie in in, in the uh, other room. And I think, Pastor Dom, you got the iPad this time. And uh, we just believe in God that it's all going to happen because, you know, with 10 seconds to go, we got people scrambling everywhere. Yes, yes. <laughs> you made it. We made it. Now, we made what it. What do you mean you guys used to be the pastors of uh, Hope Church Central Coast? What's the story there? Well, we um, we were handed the church as, as uh, Pastor Josie and myself have probably spoken over um, previous um previous expressions that we were handed the church. We're coming up nearly two years yeah. of um, having the senior leadership of this church. And we just want to let everyone know that uh, this church has not gone anywhere. Oh, right. That's <laughs> <just, laughs> Yeah. We are not running out of two, um, two buildings. Um, we are not running services out of two different locations within 500 metres. We have, um, we, we felt to change the name of our church from Hope Church Central Coast to Connect Church, New Minor Beach. And, that- and, and, and we actually, we actually uh, made the change. Um, we, we didn't make it, it's not, it wasn't spur of the moment. It wasn't a sporadic thing. It wasn't because we thought, oh, Connect is such a great name. Um, over two and a half years ago, when uh, Josie and myself uh, had the conversation that we were going to be handed the church, we started to pray and seek the Lord and say, Lord, okay, what would you have for us in our time of leadership in us leading the church? Because the church isn't just about us. It's about every single person who, who attends, you know, including us. And we felt the Lord just drop something into our spirit in regards to who he's calling us to be. Because church isn't just where you attend, it's actually the body in which you are called to be. Yeah. Beautiful. And so we we felt the name of Connect Church. Or we were, you know, Connect was, was a theme that we had and we were looking at other, you know, sort of things with, with Connect and different I connect, connecting, yes. different names. And, yeah, because like Dom said two and a half years ago is when he dropped connecting, connect, that sort of thing like what Dom was saying. So we've been sitting and waiting for the right season for God to say go, and Dom will continue that. We'll talk more about that. Well, that's that's all part of the picture, isn't it? Because, yeah. you know, listeners will know because Hope Church Central Coast has been, um, you know, part of the fabric, the spiritual fabric of the of the coast for many, many years. Pastor yeah, John McCaskill, you know, uh, uh, you know, leading that, and and you guys being, 
um, you know, sons and daughters of the house, really, um, in ministry and being right hand man to the McCaskies, so to speak. Um, you guys serving the vision that they carried and, and very much carrying the DNA and the heartbeat of what the McCaskies were able to build over those years. Um, you know, you know, there's, there's no inconsistency there. That's entirely who you guys are. And so, in this next phase, because I know even even the transition over was you know quite quite a an intentional journey of transition yeah. um, of passing over the baton, uh, and really I think you guys modelled something really quite wonderful in how to go about doing that. Uh, you know it, it, the transition uh, of a church from you know leadership is is you, you know sometimes a, a sink or swim thing, and uh, and sadly so many. Um, faith communities will, will sink because yeah. it's not done well. But yeah. but when when the DNA of the house is embedded in those who carry the vision forward, um, you know you're guaranteed for a swim. And so you guys are now swimming. <laughs> and something the Lord spoke to you about years and years ago about understanding this faith community as a connection, as connectedness, as connecting with God with others. That's been brewing in you for quite some time. Yeah, again, um, we we felt something in our heart, you know, two and a half years ago. And, you know, there was that time of transition of the church, of us um, being handed, and then it came up to that yeah. transition. And, you know, it, a lot of people said upon that time of transition, and it was, it was a right thing, don't go and change things, a lot of things, major things straight away. Um, just wait. And me and my... Um, temperament is I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a high doer and it's like okay I've got something let's just run with it let's just get into it and it's gonna be so great. lucky has me lucky I'm his other half that was like no we need to wait it's not the right time there's a whole lot of things to consider here there's honouring and all sorts of stuff so I was like it's not God's not telling me it's time yet so, so hold your so horses good. a little bit I like the so term good. there my temperament I like that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. good use of words there but, praise <laughs> God for past yeah, the complete opposite as you both know <laughs> yeah and so and so we had that upon our heart and I'm, I, I can tend to, to run off on tangents and then Josie um, <laughs> tends to lovingly just, just say come on settle down and, and, and all of that sort of thing and then um COVID sort of hit and we had that time where we, ch we were changing things within our building and just believing um, God that, you know, that it wasn't uh, the church was going backwards, but in fact that God was the of the church and churches right across the world in Australia to continue to go forward. Yeah. And it was in that, in that time that I felt I was reading the book of Isaiah and, and God dropped a scripture into my heart and it's like Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8 to 9. And I'll just, I'll just read that from the NIV this morning. And, and this is a passage of scripture that he's talking about. It's a prophetic word um, of the, the God has spoken to Isaiah to tell the people, hey, this is coming. And it says this, it says, I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to another for all my praise to idols. Uh, it says, the verse 9, See the former things have taken place, the new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. And so that's all about Jesus. But I believe also that God um, speaks to us um, prophetically. And, and, and Josie and I truly believe that the word connect and the heart of it, it wasn't just a name. Because I know names. He's speaking prophetically into into the name and, 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 specific, and also what the name means. And so... Um, he says, see, the, the former things have taken place. And we've had wonderful times in this church over 30 to 33 years of this church. Yeah. And and so the former things have taken place. But then we really see that God declared something new. And I love it because it says, before they spring into being, they announce them to you. So it's like God speaks life. He speaks something. He prophesies life of something that is but it's not at that time, but it is to come. Yes, yes. And, and that's an incredible thing when, when, when we understand the prophetic because sometimes we, we see things and, and we think, okay, we've got to action it, we've got to go now, it's got, got to happen now. But God's saying, no, I have spoken life 
and it's not right now, but life is there. Yeah. But just wait for the timing of when I will speak it into being because yeah. God speaks life mm. and he speaks life into being just like yeah. he created yeah. Jesus. Right. Amen. Amen. My my mind went straight to that same that very same prophet, the end of Isaiah sixty. In its time, I will do this swiftly, says the Lord. In in its time, in its appointed time, then I'll do it swiftly. You know, um, not I've spoken something and now you guys have to run ahead and do it. No, no, no. I've spoken something and in its time. I will do it swiftly. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a kairosy time timing thing, and I think the prophetic has a key role in that, doesn't it? Yeah. And praise God, yeah. Pastor <laughs> Josie was in tune with that too. In terms of you getting the ideas, and it's like hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And I guess what you you sense to release then to to move with the new vision, with the new naming, and so on, the new branding. I I've seen images of your building branded up, new stuff. It was only as recently as last week, I think, the branding went up on the building. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, wonderful, wonderful. You, you sense the release to go with that in this sort of time now, yeah? Yeah, we do. And, and, and number one was always the the spiritual reason um, behind a change. And so we spoke a message um, before before Christmas, letting the church know um, that we were going to be changing name. The important thing was, with the most important thing was to know why the change and 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 why the name? So there's a there's a spiritual um, reason. There's also a practical reason because with you know two wonderful churches within 500 meters of each other with bearing the same name, it did uh, it did have a lot of confusion um, within the community. And and you know we're here to bring clarity um, to our communities and and present the word. And so we just really felt the Lord just say to us in yeah. time now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go for it, yeah. and so Josie and I, before Christmas, we were starting to to, to get that into place. We we're starting to plan, um, and what our congregation know now is that we'd actually been speaking the prophetic word that God has spoken over our church right from that moment of handover, because we were preaching messages about connection, about connecting, because language is so important, isn't it? Yeah, me. Yeah, we even had a sign on the wall, like at the beginning of last year, as you walk in, it says connecting people to people to God, people to purpose, and people to people. And that's been there, the, like, for, you know, more than a year, getting people ready that we're connect church and we, we're connecting people to God, people to purpose, and people to people. And that's, yeah, what we believe God wants, is that, going out is into that, the community. Is that the vision statement? Like, that's a that's crystal clear. I love that. Yeah. That's a brilliant yeah. sign. That's a, that, that's our mission statement. Yeah. Um, we have a vision statement, um, which is to to um, extend and reach out further, reach inaccessible, reach what has been previously hard to reach places. And we have a, a statement of, of who we are, but we changed our mission um, statement after that transition to what, to what Josie said brilliant. to make it so simple. And so we focus... Uh, we, we believe that God's speaking prophetically into our church, into churches to focus so much more on mission. Mission is so important. Yeah. Do you know, uh, the, there's a phrase within the salvos, the stream that I run in, that, that you know, our, our kind of bigger picture, kind of historically, heart to God, hand to man, right? Mm. Connecting heart-wise with God and and to reach to connect with man as well. But that, that extra dimension, Pastor Josie, that you mentioned of connecting with purpose, what a powerful concept to bring into the whole picture, right? Um, heart to God, hand to man, if you like, and 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 purpose. Like every single individual on the planet has an eternal destiny and purpose on their life, and you've captured that entirely in, in within your mission statement. Yeah. Yeah, and it's so important out there that people know that they do have a purpose, that no matter what they've done, Jesus loves them and there's nothing that they could do that he will go, no, I don't want you, you know, I don't want to talk to you or be with you or walk close. Like, it doesn't matter. He just wants people to know that he loves you. And no matter what you've done, he loves you regardless of what, what you've done or haven't done. And he doesn't see like that. He just views us, you know, in love. You know, he's a God of love and you have a purpose. And we want that out there. We, we want to go into the community and 
you know, rather than the community coming in, both, you know, out and in, you know, building building relationships and friendships outside that then, you know, you might say, hey, we've got a want to come. Yeah, sure, because you've built that relationship. You're about partnership and connecting and relationship and that's what um, Dom and I are focusing on, what we feel really that God is telling us and we're following and going with the flow of God in the direction that he has called and wants us to flow in. Yeah. What you're saying is that the clouds moved and you guys are following it. I mean, it's like God's repositioning mm-hmm. you for that new season that's coming in. Yeah. I mean, most churches might freak out when there's a mega church moving in uh, or a powerhouse church moving in down the block from you, but that hasn't been the case with you. You tuned into God and says, well, what do we do? And, well, let, let's give the wall a new coat of paint, <laughs> but we're not going anywhere. Let's just do this. And I, I agree with Craig. Your positioning statement actually says that. It does. So yeah. I applaud you for not, you know, you know, running in fear, but running head on with faith. You know, that's yeah. back to that Isaiah verse that you shared, yeah. Pastor Dom, yeah. isn't it? It's exactly yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. And you see, the thing is, I think we've got to understand is um, our identity or, or our understanding of, ident- of our identity will affect the things that we say and the things that we do. Yeah. Um, and we know that it's it's who God has called us to be. We know that there's an amazing grace uh, uh, upon this church that has been yeah. and will continue. You know, that won't church, uh, that won't change, sorry. We know that, that our, our, our church, our body has a, has a certain flavor of said, or, or a certain colour, I've said this before, you can open up a packet of um, M&Ms and they're all different colours, but on the inside, they're, mm. they're all the same. And so we're a different colour. We need to be that different colour. Every church needs to be the specific grace colour that God has called them to be so good. Um, for their community. And we're not going to stop being that. Um, if, if anything, God's just showing us um, in this season, because it is a new season for our church, but it's a new season for the church throughout the world to we need to look at things differently um we believe in in discipleship and connection is is about discipleship and so for us as josie was saying it's it's not about just waiting for people to walk through the door it's going back to mission of what jesus said go out into the world and so it's about discipling people to the cross um as well as from from the cross and so there's those aspects of, of going out, which we believe is, is what God spoke prophetically over our house to be Connect Church. I love it. I love it. I'll tell you what else I love is I love the the dimension of the gospel that you've captured. Uh, you know, for some people, this will be this will be life to them. Uh, the idea of connecting with purpose. You mean. You mean I? You mean there is actually an eternal destiny and purpose that has been woven into the story of my life. You mean there, there is intent about me? There, you mean? I mean it, it's packed with the potency of value and worth and and you know identity and in royalty. It's it's a glorious thing that you that you know that you lead with missionally uh, in this stuff and I. I just sense God's witness all over this, um, you know, as, as you you migrate, um, you know, into the story. But as you say, rightly, you've been doing the migration essentially for a couple of years, yeah. um, taking the, the people of God on that journey with you. Mm. Yeah. Let's go to a track and we'll come back and we'll, we'll pick up right there. Bang. I like it. And super excitingly, yes. live to air Christian radio, as Man. good as it gets. Come so. on. Now, in the studio is, you know, me and Evan, <laughs> but via Zoom and into the studio sound desk stuff is uh, Pastor Dom and Pastor Josie Vasalis, who are the senior leaders of the newest, but yet one of the most established um, kingdom churches most here in the Central painted. Coast. Is that re- recently painted, recently, recently painted. rebranded, Re-branded. Connect yes. Church, your minor beach. Amen. If you want to go to the newest mm. church in the Central Coast, it's <laughs> yes. it's a week old. Yes. Uh, Connect Church, your minor <laughs> beach, <laughs> as well as what twenty five, thirty five yeah. years old. I don't but know. But I love the know. name. It's a great yeah. name. It's a great name. Connect Church, and it typifies what you're about and what we should be about. Actually, and where it's you just, are. Yes. I love that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Minor beach. I mean, yeah. who doesn't want to go to your minor beach? That That's is true. It. That is true. That's Lovely a destination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've gone to so tourism good. now. I'm not sure how we got we, there, but. Well, you know, because it's creativity and stuff and freedom. And I love you guys so much. I love the heart that you have for the king 
in his kingdom. And I love, gee, you set us on a trajectory uh, earlier of understanding the mission that Connect Church actually, essentially has. Um, excited me no end because as a you know a guy functioning in the grace of evangelism, I love you know engaging with pre-Christians. And I got to tell you, when 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 your average pre-Christian hears a story of purpose and destiny over their lives immediately there's a switch that goes on for them you know because uh the language of this world isn't necessarily tied to you know purpose and destiny and things like that um that's that's a distinctly beautiful kingdom uh narrative which uh which i I love to see people coming alive to i love that that the guys down at connect church come alive to that narrative as well um, and I love that you guys are pastoring it, um, you know, in the, in this season. It's a new season. Uh, it's a new season, as you said, Pastor Dom, for the broader body of Christ, for the global church. And uh, and we've got to figure out how to navigate that. There's, there's a, a very real temptation in the body of Christ to go back to the familiar. Yeah. There's a very, you know, real temptation to go back to what we many will have really enjoyed. Um, but but um, you know, the the spirit of God is 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 bringing an invitation. I think in these days to the church to navigate and move into the new. We, you and I, Pastor Josie, you and Pastor Dom and I, we we um, yesterday were involved in a in a very significant uh, time together. I think uh, a good friend of ours, Pastor Muzz, had um, mm-hmm. had pulled together a group of leaders, and we had the opportunity to. Listen to a guy properly established in prophetic grace, uh, Pastor Marty Webb, um, and and uh, and wasn't that something to uh, to listen to, if you like, something of the dynamic of the new that God is bringing. Um, I I uh, I've shared it here recently, but there's um, the passage of scripture around the new wineskins. Uh, I think it's captured in Mark um, in the Passion translation. It says. You know, you never pour new wine into old wineskins. Um, that part of the verse is quite familiar to everyone. But the Passion Translation then moves on and says this, but you say the old ways are better and you refuse to taste the new that I bring. You say that the old ways are better and you refuse to taste the new that I bring. This is Jesus speaking, right? And I, and when I read it, I went, oh, wow. You know, never let it be said of us that we weren't prepared to taste the new that he is bringing. And I, and I just honor you two both as, as wonderful senior leaders in the body of Christ in this region, um, positioning yourselves intentionally to hear what the Spirit of God is saying for you and your faith community, but also to be positioning yourself of what the Spirit of God is saying for us regionally, like that was evidenced in what we were doing together yesterday. Um, I I think um, this is a great gift that you guys are to the body of Christ. So maybe starting with you, Pastor Josie or Pastor Dom, you can flick it around if you like, but the stirrings in your heart about the new that he is bringing, the new taste that he is offering us, what what comes forth in your heart in regards to to that idea of what he's about? I like what's happening and where we're going in the direction. Like for all of us yeah. that are faith based, I think he's he's been training us in the background so and he's preparing us to move forward for what's coming. And uh, for me personally, it brings an excitement mm. to hear, like to feel, like know the direction you're on is the lane that God has put you on yeah. and he is with you and he is moving you forward Hallelujah. into what he's preparing for what's coming. So uh, that's where, you know, as a church and as the body of Christ, it's very important that we connect and move and partner together in order for a strong army to be built to walk in what God, what's coming, like Amen. if that makes sense. Yeah, just to keep, yeah, yeah, God, yeah. So just like, and you know, He's forming. We're listening, and the arm is getting stronger Come until on. it's like go. Come on, I love that. Yeah. I love that sense. Mm-hmm. We're listening. He's building. The army's getting yeah. stronger. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got like days like yesterday where it's just teaching and. And like how, when, what, why, like why are we doing it and how are we doing it and how are we going to do it and how do we support those that 
you know, are supporting us and how do we move forward so they feel like they belong? Well, it's, it's things like going to things like yesterday and learning. He's equipping us. So he's, you know, he's still downloading and he will continue to download. I agree. I agree. Words like it came out of yesterday and we covered this with Pastor Marty the week before, accelerated mercy. Ex- mm, accelerated yeah. mercy. I mean, I don't know about you, but my spirit leaps when I hear that that idea, those two words linked together, a season of accelerated mercy. That was in the context of those coming back, right? Yes. Those coming back, just being met with immense mercy. Uh, and also for those who are with us that, you know, um, well, you know, we're an interesting bunch, the body of Christ, aren't we? <laughs> I guess we are. Yeah, and that's what I love is that we're all different and yeah. we need to be different because different is good. Come it's on. not a weird thing. Come on. Like we, you know, in order to work and work as one, you can't all be the same. Imagine that. We're all, the leg is just as important as the arm, the toes, toenails important as the fingernail. Like we're all important and we, you know, it's about working yeah. together, but separately. Come on, come on. Love hearing one of the One of the things that I, I, I see, um, you know, what Josie is, is saying is that we, we've, all got a, we've all got a place yeah. and a part and we're all equally um, important and there is, um, you know, Yesterday, I was just hearing something that was amazing. There's, there's like mercy and and, and new grace, mm, and yep. and there's a return. It's like there's been a ret- there's a return of exiles coming back into That's the right. promises and the, and the purpose of God. And and I keep on going back to, um, I believe that in this in this season for the body of Christ, um, you know, worldwide in the body of Christ in Australia in our region. That the God is, is making room because you were talking, Craig, about you can't put new wine into old 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 skins. He's got new wine, but he's made room for the new wine in in, in new skins. Come and on. and it, it, again, it takes me back to um, John fifteen, and it talks about mm. um, the vine and the branches. And again, it says yep. he, he says it, he's making room um, for the new. And he's done that all in his preparation because, again, he says that the branch that does um, bear fruit, mm. he proved that it will, it'll be even more fruitful. And I believe that's yes. where the body of Christ is at the moment, that he's he's got the new because you can't get those new shoots and that new growth and, and uh, that new growth unless you cut it back and cut, have other cutting back to prepare for the for the new space and the new room and, and all of that. And so when I see that, I see new grace, new mercy, um, just like new wine in, in wineskins. You know, when you were talking then, uh, I was thinking, you know, um, we... we we, we, I, I just feel uh, I'd love your your thoughts around this, but I I, I, want, I feel to just to clarify, there is a sense of return. You know, there, there's a sense of return of people coming back or or returning to the Father, coming back to the you know, in, and I and I my mind went to there, and I don't believe they're coming back to the old wineskin they're not looking to return to what was they're actually looking with anticipation to the new and even to the new assignment Uh, i think you asked yesterday pastor dom a very poignant question which was you know with the with the people in our our gatherings our faith communities the people in the kingdom that we walk with uh have as some of whom are you know very difficult to understand sometimes but that have a very unique assignment and and i sensed you know even in what you were saying people returning into to returning for the new assignment returning for the for the new purpose if you like again tied into that mission statement that you carry not returning to um, you know, to pew warm in a familiar old paradigm, but actually to return into the new that he's bringing. I'd love your thoughts on that. Yeah, we're we're seeing um, people like yesterday. There was there were two things that really got me. It was, there was a return and there was a migration. Yes, um, yes. and yes. you know, throughout the world, it, it's been really interesting because I think it's not just a, a physical sense or a locational sense, but it's a spiritual sense. Where because countries had to shut borders, there was a massive migration yep. forced upon the world where people had to return, had to go back, had to find somewhere to to rebase themselves. But I also see 
that it's a it's a spiritual migration of where God is calling people to be sown and to be set and to be prepared for this new thing that He is wanting to do um, upon the earth. And people are coming to church, or people are returning, or, or, or people are migrating. And it's like within themselves, there's been this awakening of this. There is something new that I am called to be a part of. And if we it, if, if we just say, okay, you're wanting to bring the something new into the old, it's not just not going to work. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's not going to, people aren't going to be settled because God's stirring something, he's pouring in, and we need to be receiving the, the, the new fresh outpouring of what God is doing upon our churches and upon our lives. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, I'm thinking the listening audience today, you know, there's this reach, the, the, the station has a reach of, you know, 40,000 odd people. Like there's the, the, there's a lot of people tuned in today and some of whom may have gone, you know what, I gave that church thing a go and I, and you know, I love Jesus, but I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna, I'm not going back to that. And, and I'm hearing some senior leaders here in the body of Christ today say, nor are we. We're not going back to that either. Um, we're actually migrating into the new and, uh, and, and there is a, an accelerated mercy to those who are listening today. You're going to find an accelerated mercy on, upon return, not to the old, but into the new, into the new assignment, into the new purpose that he has for you. Is that what you sense? Yeah, that, that, that's, what, that's what we sense. That's what we're seeing. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, it's a new season. It's, it's a new season. Don't you perceive it? You know, that, script, that mm. verse keeps coming up in my head. Yeah. It's a new season. It's new. It's not going to be what it was. Mm. It's, it's another step, another climb, another, you know, it's new. It's a new thing. None of us have been there. It's, and on. we're doing it all together. How exciting. It's, we're doing it together. We're moving forward together. Hallelujah. So, yeah. I know that we have a group of people that do listen to us, and then there's a group out there that's called the Forgotten Australians. And it consists of people who have been hurt by the church, who don't want to go back. It consists of people who have been hurt by church people, church leaders. Uh, and I, I've had a conversation with two members of that group who said they like listening to the program. They love this program. They like to stay in touch with the church. They just can't bring themselves to walk back into a church. Uh, what would you say to them about this impending season? I'd say, look, and, and I say to people, because we've got new people coming all the time and 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 they're saying, and, and the name is prophetically speaking to them too, and they're saying, I'm coming and I want to connect. And one of the yeah. things I, I say to them is that, is that, you know, God's got a place. He he, he is, is calling you and he has chosen for you to, to be here. It's not by your choosing because because. The, again, the Bible speaks that God arranges the body as he sees fit. He doesn't arrange people to be separated or isolated. Mm. He arranges people to be to, to, to be a part of it. Amen. And I was, I was just speaking to um, someone the other day, and I said, look, I just need to let you know, our church is an imper we are imperfect. Mm. We, we are not perfect. And, and even last night I was speaking to the men um, of, of Connect Men, and I was just saying, you know, I, I just see this this iron sharpening iron um, verse in the book of Proverbs, I'm, I'm seeing it in a, in, a new, in a new manner because, you know, iron cannot be sharpened with gold, it cannot be sharpened with copper, it cannot wow. be sharpened with cotton. Wow. It can only be sharpened by something that is made of the same substance. Wow. And when I was just talking to them, I said, let's not focus on what was dull, let's not focus on rust or spots or whatever it was, Let, let's just continually focus on the blade. Right. On, on, on the sharpness that, that we are mm. that we are there. And one of the things that I saw in, in that verse, and it's amazing because let's just be honest, you know, you can, you can be in a cricket group, you can be in a surf life-saving group, you can be in anything. We're people, we're imperfect people. There's going to be a bit of rubbing, iron sharpens iron. Guess what? There is, there is friction, yep. there is tension, there is heat. But you know what happens when iron sharpens iron? There is a spark. Mm -hmm. And if we focus yeah, on the so spark, good. that spark so becomes something that is undeniable, that is uncomparable, that is uncontainable, mm, come on. and it creates fire. And we are called to focus on the fire rather than 
the you know the, uh, rather than the friction. So well, good, amen. so good. Amen. I love it. But you're listening mm. to Pastor Mill Central Coast New Expressions Program. Chucky, Chucky Swindale, who loves <laughs> to dial in and listen to our program, <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Chucky somewhere let's tune in uh, on, on, on the internet. I'm sure. Hey, it, it, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe or maybe he just jumps in on the podcast. I know what he does. He does Rima replay. Well, he, he listens. He knew we had Dom and Josie on. He yes, he, he heard Pastor Dom and Josie very, very popular from Connect too. Church in Minor Beach. They went, "I'm listening in." Yes. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So, in case you're wondering what on earth is going on here, you're listening to the New Expressions program every Friday morning. We just brag about the King and His Kingdom and Amen. all the things that are awesomely happening in our region. We love to talk to senior leaders in the Body of Christ. Uh, regarding vision and and uh, what they're seeing and hearing from the king and and the dynamics of the kingdom that they're in, Pastor Dom and Josie, you you've rebranded uh, you know a, a, a church that's just a formidably established um, kingdom people. Um, the McCaskies who had been leading the church prior to you did that transition a couple of years back. Birthed in your heart was this um, this fresh vision for this season. Um, prophetically, God said, "Pull the trigger now." So you've done that. We've got a new building that's painted up and uh, branded up nicely down there at your minor beach. And uh, I have just utterly loved hearing, you know, the wellspring of life coming out of you guys today as we've uh, we've talked about this new season that we're in. Um, where we kind of finished up just before the break was, um, you know, something of the uh, the stuff Pastor Marty Webb from uh, the Spectrum Church up in Nana Bay had brought yesterday. He was talking to us as a group about, you know, this season of the next 10 years and about, you know, uh, this great grace that is available to us and this great accelerated mercy that he's calling into the body of Christ. Uh, and I, I, I was filled with real hope knowing that listeners today across the across the central coast some of whom may have been reluctant to plug into a formally recognized space of the body of Christ could could hear actually know there's an accelerated mercy you're going to be met with mercy as you replug as you reconnect as you join and take your place and to take your assignment again that the king has for you as you move into the purpose as pastor Josie you spoke about earlier um, these are great days and and uh, and a great season that's upon us, um, and and you guys are navigating that with the uh, the faith community down there at the beach. Um, uh, we we were talking just before we 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 kind of went to a break, uh, and I'd kind of opened a can of worms, but I didn't think I was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, and so. I guess uh, the invitation, you know, in terms of what you see and what's in your heart about um, this new season that's upon us, um, I, 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 I want to invite your, you know, your thoughts about that. About about this new yeah, season, yeah. Like about what we were talking about before. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think iron sharpens iron as as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Um, we were talking about it with our, our men last night and, and, you know, I just, in that meeting with Martin Webb and all the leaders yesterday, and, and I just had that really drop into my spirit because, you know, I'm having conversations with, with new, Josie and I are having conversations with new people as they come into our church and, and we're just letting them know um, straight up that God's got a purpose and God is calling them to be part of, 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 of this house if this is where he's calling them to be home, but we're just letting them know the reality that we're not perfect. Yeah. Um, I'm not a perfect pastor. Um, I never, I never will be. We, we never will be. You know, I've got faults. I've got failings. I, I can sometimes um, unintentionally come across dismissive and or, or whatever it would insensitive, whatever it would be. Um, but I think what what I'm seeing is is that God has placed us to come along one side alongside each other, just like we did yesterday, to. To not just go slap on the back, you know everything's awesome. But let's 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 encourage each other to bring the best the best out of each other. Um, let's, let's be real with each other. Let's be yeah. real with each other. You know. Yeah. yeah. Let, let, let's sharpen one, one another. Let, let let's focus on, on on the mission and and the spark and then the flame that comes 
when we when we do, you know, and can I just say sharpening? You, you, you sharpen a blade to get the best out of it. Come on, it's meant, it's meant to be with love, with grace, yes. with mercy. Come on, that's how that's how Jesus when he when he spoke to his disciples, um, you know, apart from when he says to Peter, you know, get behind me, get behind me, Satan. You know, that, we could say that that would be quite harsh. But he's actually not a, not calling Peter Satan. He's actually addressing something, he, a mindset or a yeah. thinking of 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 God. it's not of God. That's right. And he's actually sharpening his disciples, and he's saying he's he's doing it in a loving and tender yeah. and, and merciful way. And one of the things I see about iron sharpening iron, um, you don't just you don't just sharpen it once. You know, every time I, I pull out the um the the sharpening um, thing out of our knife block. Josie says to me, can you go and do that outside? Because, <laughs> because, because the noise, the noise. I hate noise. And we can go, oh, you know what? I hate the noise of, of, of the sharpening. But sometimes it's the noise that we need to hear. Yeah. yeah. Because the noise that sometimes we need to hear, it's the noise attached to what is, is trying to bring the best out of the blade. Come on. Yep. Come on. And the thing is with the sharpening is, I, I don't know about you, but I've never bought a, a knife set yet, which is, Oh, you know, I only sharpen once. You never have to sharpen again. You wow. see, as iron sharpens iron, do you know what it actually also means? It also means continuous communion. Wow. Wow. It's continuous relationship. So good. So It's good. continuous fellowship. It's always sharpening, you know, one another. But again, it's from a heart of love and grace and mercy and from a place of connection. Yeah, because we're a work in progress, so we need that sharpening constantly and continually and going back to be sharpened even when we don't want to in order to, you know, you know, walk the path that God set us on. Well, if you're not against another piece of iron, how do you be sharpened? You can't be. There you go. It's, all, it's an invitation to community or as John Alley would call it, holy community. Yeah, and that, that's, that's why community... Um, is, is, is so important. That, that's why we, we all need e- each other. That's why I need to go and be, you know, connected to, Josie and I need to be connected to our church and our services, but we also need to be connected to other people. And, mm-hmm. and you know, we, we go and spend time with, um, you know, groups of other pastors and leaders because we need to have people speaking into our lives yeah. and sharpening and, 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 and 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 you know the sound that sometimes we might feel uncomfortable with friction, but we but we need to know that the people are saying things out of love. Yes. To see the best that 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 that, that blade was created to have because a, a dull blade it's not living to its purpose. Yeah. Wow. Well, wow. Well, thank you. Wow, well, mate, you you have you've smashed some absolute pearls out today. <laughs> I I tell you what, listeners are taking note. I'm taking note. This is. Uh, this is a great lesson in in a scripture that we probably let's be honest we probably all quoted it countless times before but uh, there's a revelation on what you're sharing today pastor Dom that that's really captured me I've got to say um and and I've heard the invitation by the spirit of god to find myself you know in community to find myself uh, with one another, practicing one anotherness, allowing that sharpening to take place, allowing that spark to happen, allowing that fire to take off that you referred to. Um, uh, I don't know about you, but filled with excitement about the idea of that and about, you know, what God has for us in that, you know, a church on fire, sharpening one another and and uh, all for the glory of God, all to see, you know, this great next wave of outpouring coming our way, um, you know, which is what, what, what I'm believing for, which I think right back to the very beginning, Pastor Josie, what you spoke about, which is he has been preparing us. He is preparing us. Yeah. And, and so it's almost like a fresh shout out to the to the, the the listener group who maybe some uh, uh, may not be plugged into the body of Christ, it's almost a fresh shout out to say, hey, 
accelerated mercy is available. You know, the opportunity to sharpen and to spark and to see fire come again, it's all available. And it's uh, there's a, a magnificent welcome home party for, for many. And for those of you listening who, and the majority of your listening audience is well and truly planted in the body of Christ, you know, why don't we um, ensure that we're postured for this work of accelerated mercy? Let's uh, ensure that we're postured sharpening one another for me, sharpening one another just looks like abounding in love towards one another. Mm. You know, yeah. that's as I practice that, as I manifest, wasn't it? We, you know, we saw glimpses of that in the most beautiful way yesterday. Um, many different streams. A good friend of ours in the program, Pastor Craig Corkle at Narara Valley Baptist Church, and the stream that he represents, and you know, from the Salvos and the stream we represent, and the, the ACC guys and the stream and the C3 guys and the, you know, the streams that were just melding in together, sharpening, loving, abounding towards love. Uh, these are very good days, and they're they're um, they're prophetic of of this new season, aren't they? Yes, I, I, I believe there's a, there's a prophetic um, voice um, being spoken. Um, I'm, I'm probably hearing it louder in this season, or, or maybe just because my ears are becoming more attuned to it yeah. in this season than than I, than I have before. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Well, that's where the revelation's coming from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And and even even yesterday, like Pastor Murray, I knew he was going to do this. He goes, okay, I want you to all join in three groups and uh, have a word and prophesy. And, and I always think, oh, no, because it's like, what have I got to think about? You know what? It's not about what we have to think about. Mm-hmm. It's going, oh, like, Holy Spirit, what are you wanting to say? We don't have to think. The Holy Spirit will want our behalf. We just got to be obedient and listen Come and be still. On. This is what it is to be in the days where the sons and daughters are being led by the Spirit of God. And uh, mm-hmm. and I'm so grateful that as two wonderful senior leaders here in the body of Christ, being so obviously led by the Spirit of God, uh, that's an incredible blessing to us in the region. You know, your, your leadership and what you see and what you're calling people into. No wonder people are, are, are new New people are coming, you know, left, right and centre saying we want to connect. No wonder. It's no surprise. <laughs> of course they want to connect. Of course they want to engage and buy into what it is that you're seeing and carrying. It's a good day. And you're going to pray yeah. for the region? Yeah. Sorry, I wonder if you might, just as senior leaders, take a moment to pray for us. Evans yeah. mentioned that. I thought you are so right, you mm. know, that you might just pray for us, the listening audience today, um, even, you know, for some that welcome home and that mercy and for the body of Christ to continue to abound in love and that sort of thing. You know, maybe Pastor Josie, you might want to start, and then Pastor Dom, if you you, you bring that through, that would be great. Yeah. Dear Father, Lord, I thank you for all that you're doing. I thank you that you are quitting us and getting us ready. I thank you and pray that, you know, you are a God of mercy and grace and compassion and love. And I pray this morning that you speak to those that are maybe not feeling that this morning, Lord, that maybe don't feel that mercy or that love or that compassion. But I just pray that you just be still in their ears. And just remind them just how much you love them, Lord, yes, Lord. and that you are a God of mercy yes. and a God of compassion, love, and peace. Hallelujah. And I just feel led to pray for peace this morning for those that are mm, questioning, yes, asking yes. the what, when, how, why, or why is this Jesus. happening. God's got it. He's Hallelujah. in control. Hallelujah. And we need to, you know, Trust that and have faith mm. that He's got it. He's got Hallelujah. you in the palm of His hand, yes. and He is. Near- You've been listening to an encore presentation of New Expressions, which can be heard live every Friday morning at 10am on 94.9 Rima Central Coast.